Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I had one more video just to show you uh, just how well the uh, HDR works when you select HDR paper white all the way to high. I already spoke about this on my previous video on how to do this. Uh, this is the key. This is what's going to help you have that nice, beautiful HDR on your windows. Okay, just remember, you have to go over here to the settings. Uh, go to your uh, system display and make sure you uh, select HDR games and apps. And uh, here's the trick. This is the problem that a lot of people just didn't even know that it exists. And it's right here. You have to go right above it. And it's not your fault. You didn't know unless somebody tells you. This is where you adjust your paper white. You select uh, Play HDR Games app on. You select Stream HDR Video on. And then you go down here and you adjust it. You got to make sure that, you're, uh, that you adjust this right here. This is the key. See, when you, when you select it on, when you turn this on for the very first time, it goes up to 30. And it stays at a very, very uh, dimmed quality and you're wondering what's going on why is my picture so dimmed that's because they did not tell you that you have to go to a paper white to adjust it to adjust your paper white so you can have that beautiful maximized uh hdr peak brightness okay meaning this is your white digital levels basically what you're just doing here you're adjusting your uh white digital levels paper white onto your sdr container and then when you watch hdr like over here when you go to the HDR, it's going to look very nice, as it should right here, as you can see it. So that's pretty much how that works. And believe me, uh, you, you're going to notice that difference right away. Uh, you're going to see it right away. You're going to notice that difference immediately, okay? You're going to see it right away. Like even here, I'll just go back to, to this level right here. You're going to see it right away. It's going to show up. And you can see the HDR right here. This is something that even I didn't know till like a month ago. I have uh, went to the forums. Uh, I spoke to some people on AV forums. I spoke to some individuals who are using the Windows for the HDR, for the photo editing and stuff like that. And they told me this is the trick. Uh... Because, you know, 300, 400 nits is still, you know, it's a decent peak brightness for your monitor. But people still say, oh, but, but it's, uh, it's very dimmed. So now you know why your windows was always dimmed on the HDR. Okay. Also, you got to keep in mind your TV has to support, well, I mean, your monitor has to support HDR, HDR. Your device has to support HDR in order for you to truly utilize it. Okay. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. Uh, so uh, there you have it. So any any content that supports HDR, even this one, if we click on this one, this one doesn't support HDR. So this one, this one's fake. Uh, let's go to the videos that do support HDR. Let's go to the ones that do support HDR. Uh, this one says it's HDR. So let's see. Yeah, see, this one is the HDR. Uh, it tells you HDR right away, and you can see that it's an HDR. Be careful when you go out there when you are searching for HDR content. Some of them are not real HDR. Some of them are real HDR. If it's a real HDR, if it's really getting that metadata uh, high dynamic range, it's going to show up right here, and you're going to see it. You're going to see it. It is right there, HDR. All right, so well, there you have it. Just a short little video. I already covered this. I already spoke about this. But I felt maybe I should have kind of like just show you how good it looks, the difference. And you can see the difference right here. Clearly, you can see just how bright it is, how beautiful it looks. Uh, because a lot of people have been complaining to me about this. They're saying, but man, I want to enjoy HDR my PC, but it just looks like crap. It's too dimmed. That's because Microsoft failed to tell you that you have to adjust your paperweight. And this is your fault, Microsoft. You should have explained this, but they didn't. Okay? At least I haven't found it anywhere on their forums. They just say click HDR on. 
turned it on, but they didn't say, oh, how do you adjust it and what, what to do, okay? Now, you do have to download the Windows Assistant, but why do you have to pressure people to download the Windows Assistant so that way they can find out how to do this? This is something that should have been explained clearly from the get-go that you need to do this. Instead, we had to find out ourselves how to do this. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you. Just a short little video just to show you, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I'm kind of excited about the uh, Modern Warfare. I do want to bring Modern Warfare to you in 4K HDR. I'm not going to do a live stream. I'm just going to bring you guys 4K HDR video footage from a campaign in different parts, and then you guys can enjoy it in 4K and HDR with a good surround sound and have fun with the uh, real-time ray tracing and HDR you guys are gonna simply have your jaws drop just how beautiful it's gonna look on the campaign so I'll do that for you guys on Friday you'll have those videos rolling out on Friday okay thank you for watching